If a case isn't solved within the first 72 hours, the chances of solving that crime becomes exponentially lower. The case we're going to start on today is a cold case that's remained unsolved for 27 years. I'm Nat Cardona, and welcome to Late Edition Crime Beat Chronicles. In this episode, we take a look at the Cloverleaf Mall murders from November of 1996. On November 7, 1996, 25-year-old Cheryl Edwards and 36-year-old Charlita Singleton were working at the all-for-one store at Cloverleaf Mall outside of Richmond, Virginia. Early the next day, Carlita's family called the police to report her missing after she failed to return home from work. The two women were found stabbed to death, their bodies discovered in the office at the rear of the store. Now, some background on the mall. Cloverleaf was like so many other malls in that golden age of malls in America. It opened in August of 1972 and was the largest in Richmond, Virginia. 42 stores and over 750,000 square feet of retail space. And again, like so many other malls, it was anchored by retailers like JCPenney and Sears. The mall was designed by local architects and featured a center court with a 20-foot pool, crystal trees, and falling water. It was named Cloverleaf because of its proximity to the Cloverleaf intersection at Chippenham Parkway and Midlothian Turnpike. Cloverleaf Mall was the place to be. Teens hanging out in common areas on weekends, movie fans taking in a show at the Multiplex Theater, and families having lunch. Any good suburbanites version of downtown. Back to November of 1996. By the time the two women were working at the mall, many of Cloverleaf's best customers, women with disposable income to spend at the mall's more than 20 women's clothing stores, were choosing other malls for their shopping. The then mall manager, Jay Laffler, said at the time that people were starting to see kids with huge baggy pants and chains hanging off their belts and people were intimidated. Details about the double murder are scarce, not surprising for a decades-old unsolved murder case. What we do know is that the Singleton family called the police early on November 8th to report that Charlita was missing and both families met the first patrol officer in the mall parking lot around 5.15 a.m. Lieutenant Robert Scoren of the Chesterfield County Police used a key from store management to enter the back door of the all-for-one dollar store. That door opened from the parking lot into the store's office. When reflecting about the incident, the lieutenant said he felt uneasy as he approached that locked door. Scoren recalled, with both of their vehicles out front, he strongly suspected that foul play was involved. He opened the door and he found Cheryl Edwards and Charlita Singleton's body stabbed multiple times in the safe open presumably with money missing. The lieutenant returned to the parking lot to tell the families and the mall was closed for the day so that law enforcement could scour the crime scene and the surrounding areas for evidence. Family members of both women were quickly cleared of suspicion. We need to take a quick break, so don't go too far. The United States Border Patrol has exciting and rewarding career opportunities with the nation's largest law enforcement organization. Border Patrol agents enjoy great pay, outstanding federal benefits, and up to $20,000 in recruitment incentives for newly appointed agents. If you are looking for a way to serve something greater than yourself, consider the United States Border Patrol. Learn more online at cbp.gov careers usbp. That's cbp.gov careers usbp. Investigators believed that the killer, or killers, seemingly entered through the back door of the store as the mall was closing, or already closed at the time, that they approximate the murder to have happened. However, the police were never able to determine a motive. So, typical victimology work, the understanding that victims tend to know their murderers, resulted in zero leads. Investigators dug into both women's backgrounds and weren't able to find any enemies or persons who would want to harm them. No angry spouses or partners, jealous girlfriends, or any type of the usual suspects. Now, back to that empty safe. Was the motive robbery? If so, why viciously stab Singleton and Edwards to death? Could it have been a mall worker or someone who knew their schedules? Around $20,000 in reward money failed to yield any productive leads, although there were some promising clues at one point in time. A stolen U-Haul from Chattanooga, Tennessee caused some people to hypothesize that maybe it was an out-of-town robbery, though unlikely for a dollar store type of robbery. There was that, and a man seen running outside of the mall around the presumed time of the murders. Police believe it was soon after the store closed, around 9 p.m., but that turned out to be a dead end. 
1997, a year after the murders, police said that they had no leads. At the time Singleton and Edwards were killed, they left behind small kids who were forced to grow up without their mothers. Eight years after the murders in 2004, Lieutenant Skorin said the case was getting a fresh look but shared few details. Fallout from the murders is believed to have hastened the closing of the Cloverleaf Mall. Jay Laffler said at the time that after the tragedy, the national tenants just couldn't get help. Parents wouldn't want their kids to work there. It was catastrophic. Cloverleaf Mall became the murder mall. And that's where I leave you today. Make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss my interview with Scott Bass of the Times-Dispatch. And don't forget to listen to our past episodes of Late Edition Crime Beat Chronicles, a Lee Enterprises podcast. See you later. How powerful is the Cox Network? So powerful that one day, the internet will let your doctor perform miracles from thousands of miles away. Connecting to remote operating room. Giving a whole new meaning to the term house call. Operation complete. The Cox Network. With gig speeds everywhere, it's internet built for tomorrow, today. Cox, bringing us closer. In Cox serviceable areas, speeds vary and are not guaranteed. Cox terms apply. Other restrictions may apply.